So I was playing around with a Windows 10 um, virtual machine running on QEMU KVM on my Ubuntu host. And I came across this, basically I ran out of processing power and I was like, oh, I'll have a quick look. Change my uh, graph to logical processors. Notice I've only got two, two cores of actual processing in the uh, client. But when I set up my machine, I had eight cores allocated to it. So what's going on here? So the reason this is happening is that Windows 10 supports a maximum of two physical CPUs. So although we've got eight allocated to it, it's allocated those eight as eight CPUs rather than eight CPU cores. So it's pretty simple to change this. So we just shut down the machine. And then in here, we're gonna leave the virtual CPU allocation as eight. So, but we're gonna go over here and manually set the CPU topology. So I'm gonna set this to one socket, so a single CPU and I'm going to have a four core and then eight thread uh, CPU, which is a common configuration of physical CPUs. So the way that you set this up is, although it's going to have eight threads, this threads is threads per core. So four cores, two threads per cores is eight threads total. So this is a typical four core, eight thread CPU. So we'll apply that and then we will run the machine again. And if I run Task Manager using Control, Shift, and Escape, and go into Performance tab, we now have our four-core, eight-thread um, processor. And you can see here, one socket, eight virtual processors, which is what we would expect of this class of uh, CPU. So yeah, I thought I'd quickly show that, because not seen this before. It's never happened to me previously, where I've ended up with less cores than I actually thought I was going to get. So yeah.